Good morning, folks. We've got several articles on deck here today and one quiet star above our heads. We'll begin there as eruptive activity and solar flaring are low. We did have an eruption come off the northern polar crown and a filament release you will see on the southern departing limb. Both minor eruptions, neither one aimed at Earth. The next chance for space weather comes later this week when the southern coronal hole has an excellent chance of amplifying solar wind in geospace and some young sunspots are trailing behind it, but we're all quiet for now. First up in the articles is the deglacial forest conundrum. It's another in the long list of ways in which modern climate models fall short in explanation, attribution, and prediction. Here, they're finding that forests are not responding nearly as quickly to climate change as expected, just like we've seen in the oceans with krill, phytoplankton, and chlorophyll. In that same vein, we always hear about how rising temperatures will harm agriculture, but they're finding that wheat has been unaffected. Corn and rice yields are actually rising by 13 to 14 percent respectively. Good thing, too, with the increased storm damage and increased unexpected cold damage at both early and late times of the season. Hopefully we all remember the galaxy that had a full magnetic polarity inversion. This isn't the galactic magnetic reversal that comes with crossing the current sheet, but a full system magnetic reversal on the full galactic scale. Today, we're seeing yet another potential example of this, where more study is needed, they say, but as of now, a magnetic polarity inversion does fit the data they have at this time. I imagine they're going to be finding more and more of these as time progresses. Focusing in now on the crab disappearance, 90% loss in the snap of a finger, and a canceled harvest season. Many are quick to blame climate change, but experts recognize that even this is too fast for climate to take the blame just like the surge and other marine creature unusual mortality rates in the last couple of years, this one is likely to at least have contribution from the changing magnetic field of our planet, where no aspect of the biosphere is unaffected, especially the tiny rungs of the food chain on which these larger creatures rely. Last little note here, on Saturday, Kat will be at the Asian Heritage Center reading her children's books. The Kira and Lulu series is a great way to ease our little ones into fun space science, all proceeds will be going to charity. Head out and see her. You can get her books and our other books and more at the link below the video in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.